We are in the heart of apple country here in El Dorado County and joining me today, West Betty from Rainbow Orchards here in Apple Hill. Busy time of year with these beauties, huh? One of the products that people love to get from you is your fresh cider. And you run the cider mill. How, much, uh, how many apples are you pressing these days to get into the cider? We did 50 bins this week and that's uh, 800 pounds of bins, so 40,000 pounds and you probably wow. have three apples to a pound, so maybe 120,000 apples this week. Jeez, that's a lot of apples. That is High a demand. lot of apples. <laughs> what do you think makes your cider so special? Um, one of the most important things about our cider is that we generally do not use a cider grade apple. Uh, cider grade apples will have uh, bad spots on them, maybe a soft spot, maybe a rotten spot. We, we take all of that out and we make sure and use a number of uh, varieties all at one time. So half probably tart and half sweet is going to give you the balance that you're looking for in your cider. Right, so this mill is probably running quite a bit this time of year. Six days a week right now. Wow, and tell us about apple season overall this, this year. You farm these fields out here, these orchards out here. September we had some rain and cool weather. Anything thrown by that? Um, no, it was, uh, it, was, it was good for the apples. It, uh, the rain was nice and cold, so it gave them a lot of color. Uh, we just had rain a few days ago, and luckily it happened overnight when it was cold. And the uh, sun came out very slowly, so it warmed up very slowly. Because if it had warmed up and we'd had rain on a warm day, like a thunderstorm, all of the Fujis that are still out there in the trees would all split. Ah. But we got very lucky. And uh, the fruit's all very late this year because we had a really long uh, winter. It snowed all the way to the end of May. So we're a little behind on the picking, but it's probably been the best crop we've seen in a long time. Talk about some of the challenges with running this mill. It's a lot of machinery um, back there. <laughs> challenges with running this mill is stuff breaks all the time. Even though most of the machinery in there now is all updated and all new, it uh, constantly something is breaking. So H Hard to keep up with demand, I would And imagine. I'm not <laughs> much of a mechanic, but as, as, as I get older, I, I'm getting a little bit better. So, of course, lots of folks know Rainbow Orchards for your cider donuts. Why do you think folks flock here for these hot cider donuts? Because it's got my cider inside of those donuts. <laughs> And uh, um, quite delicious. Honestly, uh, the cider donuts have been made here, I think they were made probably 20 years before we arrived. We arrived in 1976, and uh, I think the secret is just the ciders and the donuts, and there's, there's a couple other things going on, but there's, those are secrets. <laughs> you, can't, you can't divulge those secrets. No, people and been... they're served hot, which folks, hot. it's made that's, to that's, order. That's a, big, that's a really big deal. People yeah, love to the sugar get on... them right out of the grease. <laughs> donuts, baby. Donuts, baby.